All right, one plus one last way that we're going to cover uh, where logarithmic um, and exponentials are used. How intense an earthquake is. The intensity is called magnitude. We have what's called a Richter scale, named for the guy who came up with this. It's a way to measure the intensity of an earthquake. Love my drawing. All right. Uh, Richter scale. Here is at least one formula. There are others, but here is one formula that we're going to use. Notice the magnitude is equal to the, you take the log of the intensity that of the current earthquake over the normal intensity, where R is equal the magnitude measured in microns, I is the in intensity of the seismic activity of what you're measuring right now, and I sub, sub zero or um, I naught is called the normal seismic intensity. All right, so this is what we do. One earthquake in eastern Idaho had a, look at all this, 425 million times intensity more than normal. What was the earthquake's magnitude? And times the normal intensity, so look what we did here. Well, we named the variables, R is a magnitude, I is the intensity of the earthquake that we're measuring, 425 million 197,000. I sub zero is just uh, normal intensity. We're going to plug it in. R is equal to log, and it, by the way, base 10. It's the intensity we're measuring times normal intensity over normal intensity. And then look what happens. Those intensities cancel, and you just can plug log base 10 425,197,000 into your calculator, and it's about an 8.6 magnitude earthquake, which could do quite a bit of damage. The other, the other ways that we use uh, logarithmic and exponential, so growth, exponential logarithmic growth, populations, whether it's cities, animals, bacteria, yeah, animals think bunnies, how quickly those grow. Uh, decay might be cities. So if there's a big natural disaster or a human disaster, people might choose to leave and grow. So that would be a decay. Radioactivity, um, decay called half-life. These would be half-life problems that you'd experience in science classes. And then medicine dosages, right? They lose their strength, so you have to take your medicine like once every four hours, and if you don't, it's not as effective. Those would be decay problems. And I think that that's it. But each one of these types of problems, you'll be given the initial function, and you just have to name the variables and plug everything in. All right, that is it for this one.